I'm running for Congress in the 8th District against Nancy Pelosi. And, um, uh, for a lot of people, they're very excited about that, and for a lot of people, that's actually kind of difficult because she's uh, a political icon for many people, and many people, um, her press definitely uh, presents her as being a, a liberal, um, a, a radical even in relationship to some sectors, but a liberal, and many people feel like she's kind of the, the sacred cow of the Democratic Party and that she can't be touched, and so it's it's problematic for anybody to run against her. But for those of us who are activists and are closely following the way she votes and also the way things are going, it's important right now, um, many people feel, and myself feel, to get, to start to try to drive a wedge between us and the current administration of which the central part of the Democratic Party are actually intertwined with at this point. They're all continually over and over again working the middle. And what we see from working the middle is we're actually ending up with nothing right now. We have no strategies at all. We don't have any strategies against the Republican Party. We don't have any strategies against Bush. We don't have any strategies they don't have any strategies around the war, how to get out of Iraq, what to do about global warming. They're actually coming up over and over up against nothing. They're coming up against nothing all the time, and they're kind of bringing us along. And we all, we all, me too, fell for the thing of going, you know, go to Ohio and vote for Kerry and do all of this stuff around Kerry. And we were all one to that. We put hundreds of thousands of dollars into voting for Kerry. And people up and down California fled to the Midwest and Florida trying to make a difference. And as soon as it looked like they lost, they split and they split with all our money, and they haven't come up with anything since then to, to rectify the situation. So it's time for the American people, I believe, to take matters into their own hand, and that is, unfortunately, us. We are the only people that are going to be able to make a difference at this part. Our leadership is co-opted. They are they're bought off from day one because they take thousands of dollars in campaign contributions. They can't even get out of the gate and have a clear vision because they're, they're already um, – indebted to somebody along the way. So if we don't, as brand, as brand new artists, activists, uh, brand new people running for office, you know, just like, well, why would you run? Why would you run? Why would you? Well, why not us run? Because we are as smart. We do know as much. We follow the news as carefully. And if you, if you examine our ideas against their ideas, we have as much, many strategies as they do in our small circles for solving the problems that they actually have at this point. So it's time for our ideas to be to be um, center stage. And I also feel like, I mean, I, I love preaching to the converted because <laughs> we know so much and we put so much thought into what it means to be uh, women and, and women what what women's leadership means for our, us in our daily lives and daily lives and also what. If women were 51% of the legislative process, imagine the different kind of mentality that would be there. What they would be circling around and coalescing around would not be the things that they are coalescing around now. And for them, brilliantly, I mean, it's a brilliant strategy of the Republican Party to pick out the Condoleezza Rices and the, the other women that in their individual separa separated off spaces kind of hold them up as, as you know, we're, we're the party of equality and see the women all isolated and unable to come together to find out what it would be if there were a progressive win women's agenda at the table. It would not look anything like this. I do not believe that, fit, that a group of women no matter what background, if they got into a room together and were to vote on whether they would go bomb someone else's children, they would agree in the final analysis to bomb someone else's children. I just, I just can't believe that that would happen.